But first things first, so here's the Boom Boom Chicken. Look at how cute. You know what? I'm going to link my Boom Boom Chicken mukbang too. Because I basically got the same thing. So that's Boom Boom Chicken. And I will link my mukbang. This is pretty old because it's like a little Q&A. And this is my nachos. You know, I'll just put a picture in. I don't feel like taking this out right now because I'm not eating this right now. But I have a picture, so I'll include a picture. So let me set this up for making my smoothie. Mmm. So yummy. Mm. So my friend makes these amazing baskets and she gifted me this one. I absolutely love it. The details. Oh my goodness. This is like the perfect winter basket. I love that it has a quote back here. Be nothing but positive. Definitely think I'm going to put that one in my bedroom. And I love like the pop camera cut off. But it includes teas some chocolate, little honey, little honey comb. I think that might be a honey spoon. Some, ooh, vanilla coffee latte flavoring. My daughter's going to love that. And it's in vanilla flavor. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you so very much, Alana. I am enjoying my beautiful basket. Am I the only one when I get things like this? I just want to um, bask in the beauty of it all. Like, I'm in no rush to open this. I just like looking at it. It's so beautiful. Finish. It snowed, you guys. It snowed. But I must say, we cleaned it up pretty, pretty fast. Cleaned out the sidewalk, driveway. So I have two fiddle leaf plants that I love. This is Lucy. Lucy is flourishing. But Ethel is not doing so great. I moved her over there and we feel like she hated it. So now I moved her back over to this window and I'm hoping that <laughs> she comes back to life because I just love all of my plant babies. And this one wasn't thriving where it was in the family room. So we decided to move it over here and I love her little dress. <laughs> The plant holder. It's not even a plant holder. I don't know what this thing was for right here. But I used it to put the plant in here and it just matches the room perfectly. So we're hoping she'll flourish over here by the bar. <laughs> this was gifted from my friends and we just love this plant. It has so much meaning behind it because this was gifted to us when my dad passed in February from COVID. So Yes, we just love this baby, so I hope she starts to thrive too. Show you the snow back here. We got some serious, serious snow. Can't wait to landscape the backyard this summer. Looking forward to it. Plant baby over here. Can't. Mm, it's really bright. Let's go this way. Still really bright, but. This is my baby right here. She's doing quite well. My snake plant baby right here. Doing pretty well. Big, beautiful, bushy baby is flourishing. And then we have these. Just watered some this morning. They're doing quite well.
My daughter made a beautiful charcuterie, but she forgot about one thing. Olives! So getting ready to add the olives right now. But it looks amazing. You did a really good job. So we're in our fourth episode of Will Smith, Welcome to Earth, which this, this one is the power of sin. I don't understand what's wrong with my camera, but we're in our fourth episode of Will Smith, Welcome to Earth, um, National Geographic. If you didn't know, this episode is Power of Scent. So we're getting ready to get into this. It's the arms crossed for me. Minish, you are so crazy. It's the arms crossed for me. It's Monday. The last day of the month, these snow boots have sold. These cute Steve Madden heels have sold. I love the way they're like clear and black color blocking. And then a cute polka dot dress from H&M have sold. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. This cute black polka dot H&M dress have sold as well. It's so cute. Kind of ruffles towards the bottom. Really pretty sleeves. So yes, getting getting ready to ship these items off right now. All ready to be shipped off. So we're gonna throw on some clothes because I'm gonna run to the post office, run to Target. I need to get home and start cooking. So. On my way out. wait to get a kitchen island so I can do a proper haul with groceries and stuff. Anyway, Cheez-Its for my son, paper towels, Gatorade, our favorite chewy vitamins. We all take these. Yeah. Um, Got some blueberries, plant-based almond milk. Um, I really wanted oat milk, but didn't see any. I got some sugar snap peas for salads. These are so fire. They're gluten-free glazed donuts. Um, $3.99. Not bad at all. It's just a nice little snack. Then I was wanted to try this gluten-free California pizza kitchen because I'm a California native. And um, yeah, I really enjoy these barbecue chicken pizzas. So I'm really happy to see that they have a gluten-free one. Got some honey just because I'm like completely out, but I need to get to Costco's and get a bigger one. Excited to try this Chipotle honey salad dressing. And we're gonna have carne asada salad today. Got my favorite Epsom salt. Um, I love this hemp seed oil one. It's so incredibly relaxing. It's amazing. And then of course, lavender for at night. Then I got this for my bedroom. Only $3, you know, the little um, deal bands. I think I'm gonna put um use this for like eyeshadow palettes. It matches the room. Then from Starbucks. That I'm so excited about the Starbucks cup. And um I just love it. It's so plain, so simple, so me. Um, but my coffee, it doesn't stay warm and it gets annoying. So this is just the right, you know, amount that it holds. And it keeps it hot for three hours. I even brought one of those little warmer coffee warmers, but it did not work. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get this. Just the little Starbucks symbol. But it's just so cute. Like, it literally matches my camera, you guys. So cute. Um, And then I also got an elf sponge because I love this thing. It's just like the beauty blender. 
and mine is quite old. I feel like I have another one somewhere around, but then I got this to try Happy Hydration Cream. This is a hemp cannabis um, facial hy hydration cream. So I'm hoping this will help me because, yeah, I'm dealing with some blemishes right now. My skin is just dry, and I have ran out of out of a moisturizer I was hoping to get a new one to try in my boxy charm but that didn't happen so um, you focus man there we go so I'm ha I'm having high hopes for this one so we'll see I will keep you guys posted now it's time to put this stuff away and I always use my target red card so I get a discount so winning so here is my carnia sada meat so I tenderized it with this thingy. Um, I added parsley, garlic powder, black pepper, salt, cumin, and dill. And also always drizzle lemon juice on like all of my meat. And salt. Now I'm getting ready to grill this with the lid on. I'm hoping it'll be nice and tender. I do not like tough beef at all. And it's going to be a simple taco salad, basically, just a few little crushed tortilla chips and black beans would be the only carbs. And yeah, I'll show you it when it's done. So I'm going to cut up an avocado and purple onion. And you guys, purple onion has so many benefits, including constipation. It helps with that. Isn't that crazy? But look up Purple Onion. It has amazing, I think it's good for your immune system too. But um, yeah, look it up. We're going to use these black beans from a takeout restaurant not long ago. Just heat up those. And yeah. That I was recording, but I wasn't. So I just added a little bit of salsa. My friend taught me this a long time ago. And yo, it gives it so much flavor like it smells so good it just takes it all the way up so and maybe you would want to drain your oils but I don't do that I like all the um flavors to merge and like a marriage just come together you know I have this really low because I don't want this meat to get tough I'm about to turn it off really soon I'm just going to let that simmer for a little bit. I'm like so paranoid of the meat getting too hot because this meat cooks pretty quick. And that's all. I'm not completely happy with my avocado, but salt makes everything better. So hopefully it still tastes good. Just used a little bit of salt, black, black pepper, and lemon juice. Cut my onions up. Getting ready to make these beans in the... Cute as ever. This has to be like the world's tiniest thing. You guys can't. I guess you can kind of figure it out how. Look. Man, camera's not doing it any justice. This thing is tiny. Wait, let me see if this will work. It's tiny, you guys. This is even deceiving. It's so cute, though. I'm going to um, warm up well, warm up some beans in here because, as I've told you guys before, I don't have a microwave. So, I don't want to warm up a lot. So, this pan is perfect because we only want a little bit on our salad. And I don't want to warm up all the beans because we're not going to use them all today. So, yep, getting ready to warm those up and also wash off my lettuce and mix it with my spinach. All right. I also added a little bit of jalapeno right there. Here is my romaine lettuce mixed with spinach, some mozzarella cheese, and we get these from Aldi. It's like our favorite tortilla chips, and we're just going to break up a little bit of this. And boom, we're done. You know what? Sour cream probably would... No, no, because I have that chipotle dressing. Let me take it out. <laughs> this one right here. So I'm going to try that, but I think it's going to be yummy. We'll see. The world's tiniest pan. So cute. This is like my second or third time using this, but it's perfect. Here it is. I'm getting ready to add this dressing. Let it look. 
looks so, 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 so good. Good hunty.